It is a funny thing that when you look at the history of humanity, um, we always create limitations for ourselves. We always think there is some kind of limitation on the universe and then we eventually find that those were limitations were only concepts of man, not limitations of reality. A good example is that we thought for a very long time that the earth was the largest thing in the universe. And then we eventually found the sun being much larger than the earth. In fact, the sun is 999 or 0.8% the mass of our solar system. It's enormous and the earth looks like a little grain of sand beside it. Then we thought the sun must be the largest thing ever. And eventually we realized that our sun is actually a fairly small star relative to most of the star in our, inside our galaxy. And then we realize that the galaxy is an extremely large object made out of billions of star systems. And we thought, oh my God, this must be the largest thing. And now we've realized that there is actually billions and billions of galaxies out there. We are now at the point where we say, well, we're probably the only universe. <laughs> Well, most likely not. Our universe is most likely embedded in a larger universe, which is embedded in a larger one again. And at that point, we have to stop and ask ourselves, is it appropriate to think of our universe as something that began and that will end? Or is it appropriate to think of our universe as a cycle a continuous creation cycle in which no beginning and no end can exist.